Happy New Year, everybody. Steve here at the Pleasant Ranch. It is 10 degrees in the shop today. We're going to do some winter woodworking. Stick around. I'm stumbling Just looking for a sign We've got a new project today. This is a uh, primitive uh, footed serving board here. It's got a little uh, condiment tray. You could also call this a uh, charcuterie perhaps. Uh, but it's just a really nice piece of cherry. And uh, I want to go through my process of, of um, making a, a dimension board look kind of wild. And uh, also my process in finishing wood to make it super smooth like that and how I get around some of my uh, temperature considerations here <laughs> I'm backwards on the man stitches outside so do it over again or leave it alone or make the back okay so I started this project with this cherry board which I found on Craigslist. So I did some uh, 80 grit sanding on it just to see what I've got and it looks like that. I think I'm gonna take a tip from uh, old Steve Carmichael and do a, uh, an angled cut on the bandsaw and follow the grain lines to make a more, more of a live edge look on this piece and uh, we'll see how that comes out. A little more sanding with the orbital and I've gotten a nice little round over going. I decided not to bother with the um, round over bit in the router table on this one and just kind of let things happen and uh, see, see where it wants to go. Um, maybe that's a good theme for the new year. The plan is to make some feet for this board and so I'm just getting a quick measurement. It looks like I can work with about a 6 inch wide piece on the bottom. So I'm going to head inside now and uh, draw something up on the computer. Laugh at the fool, down on the floor it's a rich kid's game.
before I put the legs on this thing, I'm going to use this uh, bowl carving bit to carve a small little dish in here for condiments and stuff. So here's my setup for routing. I made this template with a round hole in it at the end. And the reason I left it so long is so that I can clamp the template over the workpiece and have it be clear of the base of the router, which needs quite a bit of uh, space. So yeah, fast forward a couple days, um, as I was doing that last bit of routing, the router depth adjustment let go on me and I can't seem to get it to lock anymore. And uh, this is a really crappy router anyway, it's a Blue Hawk brand. Uh, I can't recommend buying one of these, it was cheap at the time. Uh, it worked for a year or so, um, but that's garbage. I went out and grabbed one of these instead, uh, Bosch plunge router, gonna give it a try. Boom! Alright, so I'm pretty excited about this, only about maybe three minutes with the manual and I'm all set up to plunge route. I've got my depth uh, set right where I want it uh, for this bit and I'm really excited about this piece of machinery. I think it's gonna step up my game. So the router worked like a charm, but my clamping wasn't very good, and my circle slipped a little bit, and I ended up with a sort of oblong um, shape here, and I'm going to leave it. I think it's fine. It sort of fits with the, you know, roughness of the piece. I think it's going to be just fine. Now what I'm not liking are these feet I made. They seem like such a good idea, but now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like Fred Flintstone's skateboard or something. And these are way too, uh, way too angular or something for the, for the piece. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I had this piece of walnut, and I figured I would just hand draw some feet. And to make it easier on myself, I'm drilling the pilot holes before I cut them out on the bandsaw. And you can see I'm having a little trouble with the drill bit here in the drill. I think it's just a matter of uh, everything being really cold and the battery on the drill was running low, I think, also as a result. But I drilled the pilot holes first uh, just because it's easier to drill them when they're on the board. I think about you all the time, honey, it's true. When I'm riding on the bus, staring at my shoes When I'm stumbling through the dark, looking for a light switch If I'm backing out the door, dodging a goodnight kiss I think about you making up and I think about you taking drugs I think about you all the time Honey, it's true Honey, it's true I think about you all the time Love her for real but You've been living in the city I'm still broke up here And I don't expect your sympathy for wasting all your luck on me. But... All right, so we're getting right down to the finishing process here. Uh, again, it's about 20 degrees in the shop right now. I've had the heater going um, pretty much all day, and it's, it's only up to 20 degrees. So, uh, you know, obviously spraying lacquer is just not going to happen in this kind of weather and I wouldn't use that anyway on a, on a project like this. I'm going to use this cutting board oil. It's a mineral oil. It's totally food safe and uh, it looks really great on the wood. So that's what we're going to use and I'm going to apply it with 
a little bit of 400 grit uh, wet dry sandpaper. Do a little across the grain wet sanding on this and try to get it really super smooth. I think about you all the time, honey, it's true. Honey, it's true. Honey, it's true. Yeah.